Okay, I've had a couple people asking me about the maps in iWeb. Uh, if you drag in a Google map, you end up with this uh, mobile me closed sign. And they still want to integrate a map, but uh, some of the, the bits and pieces for the Google Maps were actually hosted on mobile me. So this widget doesn't work anymore. But if you delete that, you can go into any number of these uh, different maps. MapQuest, um, here in the corner, they have a link embed to where you can embed this in a website. Like this particular one, if I, this map here, you can type in an address to get a more accurate address to where you want to do that. But you would copy this, copy and paste into web page. If I, I'm uh, holding command onto the keyboard and C, or you can come up to edit and copy and then I'll come over back into iWeb and then if I drag out an HTML snippet and then paste that information into the snippet and click apply that will then give me that map <clears throat> it's a small map which I think you can change that in, in the height width here. So if I wanted this to be a taller map, I'm going to say <clears throat> 600. I'm going to make this a square by 600. <clears throat> That's now a bigger map. And something tells me if I look at the, the preferences that I can do that. Nope. They don't give me the options in uh, in MapQuest, but in the other ones, some of them do. Um, in Yahoo Maps, similar thing. Type in an address of where you want the map to be, and then if you click on what says link, you can in use the embed code. Which that doesn't look like that's the proper code. I'll check that here in iWeb. Nope, that's just the address. So you would need to do, I'm going to replace just the MapQuest portion of that with the Yahoo code. Click apply, and now I have the the Yahoo map. It's weird that Yahoo doesn't give you the iframe for whatever reason. But then, if you double click on that, you can actually interact with the map. And there's also Bing Maps, which if I do directions. I'm going to go Spokane. Okay. okay, now I have the Spokane. And if you click on, theirs is a little envelope says share. If you click on share, it'll give you the embed code. And here in Bing, it allows you to customize that. Uh, you can make it a static map, which is just one image. Or you can have it draggable to where you can actually interact with the map. Um, they give you some options on just the road, or you can do an aerial. Uh, you can turn on and off the links. Um, for directions or bird's eye and then you can also select from a couple different sizes or you can do a custom size if you want it to be a specific size for your web page and then you would simply uh, click generate code and that gives you this code here you copy that and that's the code that you would then 
paste into the HTML snippet in iWeb and then click apply and that will give you that map. And then if you want a Google map like you once had in iWeb, go Spokane, WA. You click on this little chain link up here in the corner. And then that also gives you the paste in, embed into a website or you can customize it just like you can in the Bing to where you can do small, medium, large, custom to where you can customize the, the size and then it gives you the, the code down here below so if you select that code down below and copy that you can then oh, out of my way being then you can then take that and paste that into the snippet and you have the Google map once again, this was just a quick uh, tutorial on how to update your maps now that MobileMe has closed down. Thanks for watching.